Are you looking for fun and festive ways to entertain this holiday season? Chef Laura Lynn Carter shares her easy reindeer themed recipes. Take a look. Hello, my beautiful friend. You look so festive and I love that you always have a theme for us. So today's theme is reindeer. No. <laughs> reindeer games. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorite things to do because you can just play off of any kind of recipe and give it a reindeer name. As long as you got the first letter right, you're good to go. So this is going to be an easy reindeer game, kind of appetizer, and of course, a little cocktail. But we're going to get started with some Blitzen's Blistered Bruschettas. Yum. So I've already... I've already taken um, my cherry tomatoes and I have cooked them down. You can do this on the grill, but this time of the year, that's not always real easy. Right. Cook down my cherry tomatoes with some garlic infused olive oil. You can use regular olive oil if you want to and some balsamic vinegar. And you can see they've already cooled a little bit. They're just Beautiful. nice and cooked down. And I've already gotten some bread here and I've put my plant-based cream cheese that you can go with regular if you want to, but this is so easy to do. Everybody loves bruschetta. But it's just a different little twist versus it being fresh. It's the blister. So it gets it more of a winter feel. Simple ingredients, but things that people can pick up and walk around with and have a, you know, if they're having their cocktail, glass of wine, whatever. And we just sprinkle a little chopped fresh basil on that. Yum. And that is Blitzen's Blister Ponds. I mean, how easy is that bruschetta? Super easy. So easy. Okay, let's move on to Prancer's Pizza Dip. Tell us about the ingredients. <laughs> Well, this is inspired by kids who love pizza in my house, so we turned them into a dip. I've already got a baking sheet. This is just a little appetizer size one with some cooking spray on it to keep it from sticking. I've got my plant-based cream cheese, my garlic powder, my salt, my oregano, and my basil already in that. So that's my base. And on that, I'm going to add my peppers and onions, marinara sauce, and last, my uh, pepperoni that I've chopped up. So it's super simple. You can make them individual. You can do it in a big pan if you're doing it for a large crowd. Right. I've got red and green bell peppers because I want it again to be festive. A little sweet Cute. onion. Don't go with a bitter onion. And really, you could do anything you wanted to. Sure. With whatever you normally do with a pizza, go for it. A little marinara sauce on the top. You could add some mushrooms. You could do olives if you wanted to. My family is anti-olives, so we don't do that. And last, some nitrate-free pepperoni. And again, these are all dairy-free recipes, but go with what you do. You know, pop this in the oven. When it comes out, it's going to be cheesy and warm. You can dip it with crudite. You could do chips in it. I mean, you could even toast some pepperonis and use them as a chip themselves. I've done yeah. that before, and it's super fun. Okay, so quick this question. This in the oven, comes out cheap. Yeah. Okay, I notice in both of these recipes, you've used plant-based cream cheese. Both would have normally mm -hmm. made, it had mozzarella. Um, so tell us why you decided to go in that direction. Well, I have a lot of people who have dairy issues. I personally do not, but I work with a lot of people that have dairy problems. And so I've done a lot of research in finding some really good plant-based cheeses that we can incorporate. And of course, a lot of people also have, you know, just they want to stay more vegan. So you can go with something like this right. and do vegan pepperoni on top. And they make a lot of good. You can top it with some plant-based parm, some plant-based mozzarella. They really have some great products out there for people who really need to avoid dairy or just choose to go vegan. Okay. So that's, that's the reason why. Excellent. All right. Now we're moving on to Vixen's Veggie Dip. Tell me more. <laughs> Vixen's Veggie Vixen's Dip. Vixen's Veggie Again, Dip. plant-based. <laughs> I've got some plant-based cream cheese in here and some vegan mayo. And just let that come down to room temperature. We made it really easy easy to stir and then I'm going to bring in lots of flavor this is perfect for veggies but it's also amazing on a baked potato or grilled portobello mushrooms just just got to throw that out there yeah. I have got some chopped fresh basil okay and some chopped fresh rosemary and I am a rosemary fanatic Me I too. love it and you can go heavier on that if you want to garlic I've got one clove of minced garlic if you want to keep the vampires away you can go a little stronger <laughs> yes and some fresh <laughs> lemon juice and then, of course, you got to hit it with a little pinch of kosher salt and black pepper. Simply stir this together. Oh, this and like I mentioned, wonderful. it's perfect as a dip for chips, crackers, veggies, whatever you want. But if you have any left over, I highly recommend putting some on top of a baked potato or a grilled portobello mushroom. But it's fresh. It's light. Again, keeping it vegan. But you yeah. can do whatever your family prefers. Ah, oh, this is all fabulous. And then we're going to wash it down with Rudolph's <laughs> Rum Punch. I have cooked down some cranberries. I made a cranberry simple syrup. This is two cups of fresh cranberries, two cups of water, a half a cup of sugar. You can go with stevia or something like that if you want to. It just will not be as sweet. I've got a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice and a half a cup of fresh squeezed lime juice. That's going to give it some real tartness. It, it's going to be tart, but you've also got that simple syrup. So we're going to pour that in. And then we've got one cup 
of white rum. And then when you get ready to stir, all you have to do, this is, you don't have to do anything else to it, but pour it over ice. And I like to always garnish with something really pretty. So I'm going to use a little sprig of rosemary just because yes, this time I of love year, that. I think of rosemary. <laughs> and it's simple. You are the best. Thank you so, so much, my friend. I always love your Thank recipes. You. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Merry Christmas to y'all. You too. Oh, you can find those great recipes and more at laurelincarter.com.